Hey students, welcome to yet another wonderful session. So today we are going to discuss a very interesting topic that is Roman numerals. But before I start, let me give you an important update. So it's regarding the Baiju's mini learning program, which is now absolutely free, but it's a limited period offer. And you have to use the code YT free to avail this. All are in caps here. Let me tell you what all benefits we have here. Free sessions, you're getting absolutely free if you use this code. But the best thing is you can choose the class timings at per your convenience and whatever time uh, whatever subjects you want to take the class for also it's a dual teacher advantage that you are getting here one-on-one -on -one guidance from the personal mentor live interactive classes and yes class assignments and assessments would also be shared so if you're liking our teaching over here i'm sure that you would love the app the link for that is given in the description below please do go check that out and yes i'm sure everybody has joined the telegram channel but if you haven't joined it yet please do join it because session PDFs are shared over there. Quizzes, some interesting Sunday facts, revision questions, homework questions, of course, session updates you would keep getting there. Link for this as well is given in the description. Please join it. And for now, let's get started with the topic Roman numerals. So did you see these Roman numerals? Yes, you must have seen it because we see that these numerals in our day-to-day -day life as well. Like we see that in the clock, it's written, the class name is also written with this. And yes, sometimes it is written on the walls as well. Now, this kid is thinking about the Roman numerals, like where this started from actually. So, initially, Romans used basically this I, not exactly I, I would say, this one for the unit. That's what they started with. But when it came to representing large numbers, large amount of numbers, what happens? It became a mess. So, Romans were sharp. Otherwise, how they would have conquered the Roman Empire, right? So what they did was they decided to cross out the original one with a forward line and they started using this X to represent the 10 because numbers were getting larger, right? And for 5, what about 5? What did they use to represent 5? What they did is 5 is exactly half of 10. So we hit a cut in the middle so that X becomes what? It becomes a V. So they were using V for the 5. So now we have got this for 5 as well. All right. So if I talk about the Hindu Arabic numerals, it starts from zero, right? Zero, one, two, three, four, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Right? These are the Hindu Arabic numerals that we have. But if I talk about the Roman numerals and their Indo-Arabic counterparts, what do we have here? Take a look at this. One is written this way: V as five, X as ten, L fifty, C hundred, D five hundred, M one thousand. So this is something that we need to keep in mind when we are learning about Roman numerals, how they are represented, how our normal num numerals are represented in, in, in Roman form, right? So one for one, we write this, this, this thing, just one slash, write this. Five is V, 10 is X, 50 is L, 100 is C, D is 500 and M is 1000. That's pretty simple, right? And we know that here, this 500, that's greater than 100, that's greater than 50, that's greater than 10. So I would say that here D is greater than C and that's greater than L, which is greater than X. Very simple to understand, right? Now again, this kid has a question. What about zero? Because we did not mention zero over there, right? So Roman numerals start to count from one, right? They, did, they actually did not represent, they did not use any symbol to represent zero. But what was the reason? Why were, did not, why they were not using any symbol to represent it? That's because Romans did not find the need to have a zero in their additive system. That's because in the Roman figures, the numbers in Roman, the figures are summed up and they're always equal. While in our present system, if you see, the value of the number depends upon its position in the number, right? So it's the same value 3, if I talk about 3, in the number 13, 2, if I talk about this number, if I talk about this number over here, which is 35 lakhs, right? So Whereas LOD, they word the same every time. So that is why there is no need for zero in the Roman numerals. All right. So let's write some, let's try to learn how to write Roman numerals actually. Like we have one, five and 10. This is something that we have already seen. Okay, so one, we know that we just have to put one single slash, three with three bars like this. For five, we use V. For six, it's V and one slash. For eight, it's V and three bars. And then nine, 10 is with X. What about two? We put two bars like this. What about four? For four, what we do here is, it's basically we put a V and then we put one bar before that. That means it's four, right? What about seven? Similar manner. We put V, that's five and we put two bars. That's seven. Similarly, for nine, we have X. We put a bar before that. That's going to be nine. Now, what about the numbers that we have in twenties, right? Like 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 and 20. That's simple. 10 is X. So 11 is going to be X and then there is a bar. 
12 is going to be x, there are two bars. That's how you write it. 13, x, after that, three three lines, three bars. And then for 14, it's similar. Like this is 15, x and v. We put x for 10 and 14 is going to be 1, v. So you see that here, 14, how do we write 4? We write 4 this way, right? So with x, x is 10, 10 plus 4, that means in a similar manner we have written it. You can see a relation between 4 and 14 now. Similarly, if I talk about 16, that's x and v and then a bar right? That's 16. Similarly, for 17, we'll do the same thing. X, V, and then two bars. For 18, X, V, and three bars. 20, there are two X's, right? X and X, that means 10 plus 10, that's 20. For 19, I'm going to do the same thing. Before this, I'm going to put a slash over here. That's for, I'm sorry, before this, this is 10. I'm going to put like this, right? So we can see that 9, if you write here, 9 is written like this. This is 10 and 9, that becomes 19. So from 4 and 9, we can see how 14 and 19 were formed. That's pretty simple. All right. So now we will simply see like if we have numbers like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, how do we write that? We know 10 is written as x, 20 would be written as, we write x two times, right? 30, x three times and 40 would be written as l is 50. So 40 would be x and before that, I mean 40 would be x and then l. That means this is 50 and before that if I write x, that means 10 is subtracted. That's how we write it. 60 is L, that's 50, plus 10, that's 60. For 70, I'm going to do the same thing, L and double X. 50 plus 10 plus 10. For 80, 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10, that means 80. 100 is C, so 90 is going to be what? Obviously, 100 minus 10, I'm going to write C and X before that. Whenever you have to subtract something, we write that before it. All right, let's move ahead. So here, what we see is that when I write 4, I write V. Before that, I write a bar. When I write 9, it's x. Before that, we have a bar. Similarly, you see 14, 10 plus 4. So, it's coming from 4 only, right? Similarly, for 19, we can see here. For 40, it is x, l. Before that, we have x, 50 minus 10. For 90, it is c. Before that, we have x. For, uh, for 400, it is d. Before that, we have c. d is 500. c is 100. So, I'm subtracting it. That's why I'm writing before that. For 900, m is 1000. I'm subtracting 100 from it. So, that's, so c, I'm writing behind it. That's how we write it, right? Now let's take a look at few of the rules of the system. So if a symbol is repeated, its value is added as many times it occurs. Like if we are, if you have to write 2, so I'm putting 2 bars, right? If I'm writing 20, I'm writing 2x. If I'm writing 30, I'm writing 3x. Value is repeated. Moving to the next point, a symbol is not repeated more than 3 times. We do not repeat it. But the symbols V, L and D are never repeated. Keep that in mind. Moving to the next point, if a symbol or smaller value is written to the right of the symbol of greater value, if it is written to the right, its value will be getting added to the greater symbol. Like here, we have this V. After that, we have this bar, right? So its value is added. It becomes 6. Like here, we have X. We have got two bars. So 10 plus 2, that's 12. Like we have L here, then X, then V, right? Because smaller value is written to the right side. So we say 50 plus 10 plus 5, that's 65. Pretty simple. Moving to the next rule, if a symbol of smaller value is written to the left of a symbol of greater value, then value will be subtracted from the value of the greater symbol. That means we have V here, this is greater, this one, this bar is smaller, right? So it's 5 minus 1, that's going to be 4. Similarly, X and then before that it's a bar, we have 10 minus 1, that's 9. Similarly, L and X here, so that's going to be subtracted, 40. Similarly, XC, that's going to be 90. Moving to the next point, the symbols V, L and D are never written to the left of a symbol of greater value. So they are never subtracted, we can say. Because they are never written on the left, right? The value, this symbol, that bar one, can be subtracted from V and X only. Yes, not from any other. The X can be subtracted from L, M and C only. So you have to keep all these uh, points in mind when we are talking about the Roman numerals. So this way you can practice a lot many questions so that you can get a better understanding on this. And if you have any doubts, please, you can post your doubts in the comment section below. And we have a homework question for you that you can try out after this session. So let us know the correct answer in the comment section below. And just a reminder for you, do check this out. Link is in the description. Use the code YTFREE to avail this offer. And link for Telegram channel as well is given in the description. And I hope that you, you're liking these videos. In case you have any doubts, please post that in the chat section. And if you're liking it, please share it with your friends also in your school groups. And do not forget to subscribe the channel. All right. I'll see you soon. Thank you. Bye-bye.